Alright, so with about two days to go before the start of part two of this year's worldwide celebration, Bandai has officially revealed the, uh, I guess, identity of the part two LRs, and this should really come as no surprise to most people because um, this has been the main topic of discussion for quite some time, but it's still really cool to see them on the official Tokon Twitter page. So here we go, as you guys can see, we have a new LR Metal Cooler, as well as a Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta, obviously from the Metal Cooler movie. And uh, I gotta say guys, Goku and Vegeta look fine. They look cool, that's okay, but Cooler looks absolutely glorious. I mean, he is definitely, just like part one, just like part one, Cooler is the one that I'm going to be going for the most. He's definitely the one that I'm the most uh, excited for. And uh, the art just kind of kind of seals it. I mean, he looks amazing. And I'm going to guess that they're going to switch things around this time. So instead of Cooler being the Dokkan Fest, he's going to be the Carnival unit. And then the uh, Goku and Vegeta will be the Dokkan Fest. Which is going to be kind of unfortunate because... It was easy for me to summon on the cooler banner in part one since it was clearly the better banner, right? Whereas this time, it seems like Goku and Vegeta will have the better banner and cooler's banner is going to be, you know, that carnival legendary summon with a lot of featured LRs, but overall not amazing value. We'll see. Obviously, they might change things up this time around. You never know, but... Um, yeah, Cooler's probably gonna be Carnival, I'm just guessing, and then Goku and Vegeta will be the Dokkan Fest. Either way, uh, I'm super excited for part two now. I was kinda on the fence, honestly, before we got the details, before, I mean, we don't have the details, but before we got the arts, because the Metal Cooler movie was never really my favorite, you know? Like, it's probably like number six of uh, Dragon Ball Z movies for me, but nonetheless, I thought Metal Cooler was always a pretty cool form. And uh, once again, man, just seeing this art really, really seals it for me. So uh, yeah, those are the LRs. Now, they also revealed or posted a little video, let's see, on the JP Twitter page here which uh, gives us some details about some upcoming events. So let's quickly go through this. I'm not gonna play it because I don't think I'm allowed to, but I think we can scroll through it. So here we go, we got this guy right here, I forgot his name, but one of the producers for Dokkan. And I believe this is just a like image for part two of the celebration with Metal Cooler versus Goku and Vegeta. And from there, he talks about a token awakening for the SDR free to play metal cooler, uh, which is this right here. And then we're also going to be getting token awakenings for all five of the type specific metal coolers. And uh, I'm pretty sure each of the backgrounds represents their, their typing, right? So we got the AGL guy, we got the tech one, the int one, SDR one, and uh, a fizz one as well and it's awesome that they all have different poses different you know looks it's not just the same guy with a different background which is pretty awesome as well so five free to play metal coolers well technically six free to play metal coolers getting their token awakenings and after that let's see uh this is an update to the new event it's called the uh, fighting spirit of the saiyans and Power of the Wicked Bloodline or something like that. You know, the Cooler and Goku event that we just got, right? Now we have, I guess, two more stages. This is the updated image, and uh, it's going to be Metal Coolers. It's going to be, uh, you know, Goku and Vegeta, I guess, that we're going to be fighting. So there's that. And we also have a new Link level stage. So this is a Metal Cooler Link level stage. Um, if I remember correctly... Uh, someone said that this is referring to the fact that we can attempt it three times per day, which is going to be pretty sick if we can actually, you know, run a link level stage multiple times in one day. Or is it three times per week? It might be three times per week, actually. Okay, so don't don't hold me to that. Um, it's either three times per day, which would be amazing, or three times per week, 
which is less amazing. But if that's the case, then the boost for Link levels on this stage is probably going to be really good, right? So, yeah, I'm not sure about that, but either way, this is a Link level boost stage. So if you guys need to grind those Link levels, which you probably do, because we have a lot of new units as well as new units on the way. So, um, yeah, that's pretty great. And then we also will be getting this event right here. And I think it's just a new story event. I... I'm not too sure exactly what this is, but we got uh, Kid Gohan and uh, Krillin, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And after that, we have an update, of course, to uh, Ultimate Red Zone, Wicked Blood Blood Bloodline, <laughs> Wicked Bloodline Edition, and uh, there's going to be most likely two new stages with Metal Cooler and also King Cold. And from there, they talk a little bit about the Cell Max event, and there's no update to it, so don't get too excited. But um, from what I've heard, they're basically just discussing the difficulty of the Cell Max event and the fact that the new events, right, the new stages for, you know, uh, Red Zone, for the Saiyan and Wicked Bloodline and all that stuff, will not be as difficult as the Cell Max event, which is, I think, a sigh of relief. To most people because it means that you know most people should be able to at least have a chance at the new stages versus cell max which is uh very rng dependent right so yeah there's the cell max event which they talk about a little bit and then we have let's see some details about version z we have an extreme z area for the free to play tech uh final form cooler the free to play metal cooler as well as the free-to-play Goku and uh, Kid Gohan. All three are getting Extreme Z Awakenings as expected. So there is the Extreme Z area event for them. We're also going to be getting Extreme Z Awakenings for these guys right here. The STR Piccolo, the Tech uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and also the Dokkan Fest AGL Metal Cooler. And uh, we'll go through their details. Um, probably in a separate video because this video is getting a little bit long, but... Uh, we'll discuss that for sure very soon. And then they give us the details here for the Metal Cooler, which unfortunately I can't read for you guys here because I can't read Japanese. But we do have translations out there, so we'll get to those. And of course, finally, they reveal the LRs for uh, Part 2, the Arts, Metal Cooler, and Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. And uh, like I said, Metal Cooler is just, it's just beautiful, man. It's not, there's not much more I can say. He's just, he's glorious. So I really want him just for the art alone. I don't even know what he does, but just for the art alone. I mean, I can see that effect, like with the light shining off him being just ridiculously awesome. Once again, Goku and Vegeta, they're fine. They're fine. It's just, you know, I, will, I can't get too excited for a new Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta, whereas Metal Cooler is a, uh, different story so uh there you have it guys i think that is the full video i don't think he really says anything else outside of that and yeah thank you to this guy and that's it guys that's gonna do it for my video as well um let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about metal cooler and super saiyan goku and vegeta as the part two lrs which one are you the most excited for which one are you gonna be going for first and uh yeah part two starting very soon get excited guys and that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out